or whatever the fuck it's going to be. Seinfeld at, okay? on Nick Jr.? Yeah! They absolutely... <laughs> they have <laughs> bad analogy. They absolutely deserve to get paid for when it gets showed on the internet. And I would even be willing to bet that some of these companies like ABC, like NBC, like CBS, are actually making a very hefty monetary amount on these programs online. Now, we can go into the logistics of advertising and CPMs and how much you get paid for, for video pre-rolls and shit like that, but ABC has done it best, okay? Go look at their site. You can watch everything they do online, and the bottom line is that the people who are writing for the show are not getting paid for that shit. Is there any reason why they shouldn't? Uh, no, but the problem is, is that Hollywood is so fucking old school, and they don't want to catch up with everything else. So the writers had to go on strike so that they could make them fucking see that, hey guys, your television sets may not be the primary outlet for this content and programming anymore. There's motherfuckers that are watching it exclusively on the web and we need credit for that as well. The other half of it is that DVD sales make up 4. In 2004, they said it made up $4.7 billion of movie revenue, whereas box office only made up $1.7 billion. You right. Know, they, you know, it, uh, distributable content is where all the money is, and they're getting, they're still getting residuals based on the VHS format that they that they struck over yep. in '85. Yep, exactly. You know, not to mention, think of it this way: also coming up in July, SAG and the Directors Guild both have contract renegotiations. Yep. If this strike isn't up by then, you could see Fuck. all of Hollywood shut down. Yeah, Everybody. hey, that's good yeah. for us, buddy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, hey, I know. Yeah. And, and so I support <laughs> the writers, and at the same time, I'm not sweating over it. You know, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I might miss out on a few shows and some shit got, might get messed up here. Hey, guess what? More fucking time for gaming. That's what <laughs> Video I, right? games, baby. So, yeah. uh, all right, Nietzsche. You know. We're going we're gonna to take a couple more calls, but thanks for the call, For bro. sure, dude. Peace. All right, peace. Um, so I'm going to have to check into the dedicated server thing, okay? I, I like to be fairly confident about my statements, but <laughs> Nietzsche sort of like... You may have to apologize. I, I may have to come <laughs> back tomorrow and correct, but I'm pretty fucking sure that... Um, there's no dedicated server. I don't think fucking Halo uses dedicated Halo 3 does not use any fucking dedicated servers, I don't think. I don't think so. And if they do, I'm... This, uh, this next caller here, Wheat, uh, should have a webcam. Yo. Yes, I do. Oh, what's up, guys? Do you sound? Turn that shit on, bitch! <laughs> Who's this? It's not on? No. Silent. What? Silent. What's up, dude? Turn it on, G. No, you're 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 my you're. Uh, I hear video. you. I hear He's you. He's like tapping it. I was like, what? My video. He's like, test one too. Oh, there it is. There it is. Wait. There it is. All right. Okay. What's uh, up, so brother? I got a couple things here. Uh, first of all, UT3 demo. You guys tried it out yet? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay. What do you think of it? Because I mean, it was a big competitive game, and I'm looking for the next one v one game. Um, so. I'm. I, I'll be honest with you. I I can't wait for the final to come out. Um. I, you know, I'm not a huge fan of the fucking huge tripod that just owns bitches in one shot Yeah, that sucks. Stuff. You can't turn that off in the demo. Well, right, the right. You know, but I mean, I was just playing, like, bots and playing on free-for-all servers, and I haven't, like, gone in and played any, like, professional competitive games or anything like that, but I feel like the weapons feel really good. I love the bounce on the rocket. You know, coming from Quake, I was a huge guy. Um, you know, I actually hit some mid-airs in Unreal Tournament. You know, that's fucking exciting. It makes... The, the game is, is, to me, something that's exciting to watch, to, 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 to look on to. I think the weapons are fairly solid. I, I'm, I'm actually kind of liking the armor system. I like the whole concept of picking up a helmet and it negating, you know, a sniper shot, a headshot, or something like that. So I like that they're trying to bring new things uh, to the, you know, to the game. What I don't like about it is that, uh, again, after the fourth fucking competitive game that they've made now, they've still not <laughs> nailed the spec mod. Why can't they put in a proper spectation mode for their fucking games? I, and they've made it very you know clear. If it's the final? What? No, just... they've made it clear. Yep. Mark or er, er, Rain made it fucking very clear that what you're going to ge get out of the spec mode is basically what you saw in the demo. Now, that doesn't bother me too much because I think that someone will come out and they will, you know, make up a comp mod that will fix all this. But I'm excited for the game. Um, I'm not, I, I want to play it on the PC. I want to play it on the PS3. I want to see the differences. I want to try it with the keyboard and mouse. Um, th that's my thoughts in a nutshell. Oh, yeah, cool, because, I mean, like, I've been saying since uh, Severity's coming out for, uh, whatchamacallit, CPL, and that's right. not done yet, and Quake 4 is kind of dead, right. died, basically on impact there. It's, it's just the 1v1 community has been kind of up in the air. Now, what do you think with, uh, I know Fatality's been trying to get the Championship Gaming Series to pull 
a 1v1 game in there. Do you think that's going to be happening? Or I would agree know? with Fatality, but Fatality's doing it for his own reasons. Right. Uh, so his guys can join in on the fun. And r the reality of the situation is I'm not sure that a 1v1 uh, FPS atmosphere is uh, is the best, but definitely a 1v1 game of some type. It's, Maybe here, dual. Here's my, here's my yeah, problem what with, with 1v1 and CGS. Yes, CGS needs a 1v1 dual game. Why? Because I think it's interesting. I think you pick the right one. It's you're going to find. You're going to get some good action packed. But one thing you got to consider and you got to remember is that the Championship Gaming Series chose to go with a point format that may not facilitate a one versus one dual game. How do you <laughs> translate points from a 1v1 dual game into the points, points the that will work? with the rest of the games. Yeah, you're right. That's the problem. Fatality mm -hmm. can fucking want 1v1 <laughs> games as much as he wants, but it do if it one doesn't point, fit is into it like a one point game? the point format, yeah. it's not going to work. And so that is the hurdle. I don't think the hurdle is time for the game because you could say they're 10-minute games, and then you know it starts and it ends in 10 minutes, okay? Mm -hmm. I think the problem is in points. And until they figure out what a proper point system will be, it's not going to happen. Well, couldn't you I guess have... you could do something like uh, MMA scoring, where you have like map control, armor control, and, and then frags. You could do something like that, basically. Like yeah, but then you have, have judges. Like a, a takedown then, or you know, right, who's right. Be then you them? right. Whereas you know, in DOA, mm. you know that this guy kick this guy's ass. He gets five points, or you know, he gets a point for a round. He gets a point. You know, what and if, what I don't want to see happen is it turn into some rocket arena bullshit where they like are gonna do it. Okay, we're gonna play ten rounds, and you know everyone has full weapons and full armors and shit. That's bullshit. Uh, that's, no, that's don't give me that shit. Okay, what the, because what you said is important. Uh, silent map control, armor control, weapon control. That's what makes a dual game right there. Okay, the strategic element as well as the hand-eye coordination element of the game. And so that has to be worked in. I don't expect to see it in the second season, maybe the third season, maybe the fourth season, but that's mm -hmm. that's my thoughts on it. Right, and hey last, I want to say um I'm from San Diego and that's where Mega 64 guys are from. And I've been I've been around them all Comic-Con and stuff recently and uh there's a certain thing we're doing at Comic-Con. Uh Sean, you know, skinny pale yeah. dude. Yeah. Bring him cheese. Bring him cheese. What kind yes, of I'm cheese? Not, I'm, it, any kind? Trust me, just any type of cheese. All right. cheese. I know Romanda! Exactly. Romanda cheese! I know, dude, I, I, I got know. Romanda cheese for you right here. Dude, Rant, I know some cheese at Trader Joe's that looks like Romanda cheese. Is it, is it, is it hairy? Will you get we some, We can bro? put hair on it. Yeah, I'll okay. get some. That'd be good. Right. You should definitely get some Romanda yeah, cheese for us. Right. It's, yeah, you'll like it. Guess <laughs> what? Silent, you're our last caller. It's yeah, one hour. We got to wrap this shit okay. up. Thank you very much. Bro. Hey, I like that whole fucking use your webcam to call EG. That's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, maybe we should be like, we're not going to answer. Answer unless I see a fucking webcam or something. That, that would I don't know about well, that. I mean, hey, what if you're calling in? There were lines phone? out the door for us, baby. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, yeah, it was ringing off the hook. Good. So. Leave us Good. a voicemail, right. you guys. Uh, we, we do have hey. uh, 144 voicemails for the record. Are you fucking kidding I'm me? I'm not fucking kidding oh, you. Oh, wow. Okay, so I guess we got some voicemails after the show. Guys, uh, before we close shop here, Vanessa from San Francisco Optics, <laughs> the best female Dead or Alive 4 player in the Championship Gaming Series, will be on the show tomorrow. If you've got questions for her, yes, we're going to open the phone lines tomorrow, but you can also email us your questions at epilepticgaming at gmail.com. Also, on the Epileptic Gaming Forums, if you would like to put your question up in there, I will make sure that the world-famous Robert Suma puts questions for Vanessa of San Francisco Optics as a thread, and you can go in there and you can uh, type up your questions. We'll make sure that it gets asked. But we've already gotten a couple of great questions, and I just wanted to remind everyone of that. So let's wrap up. Fine, camera, bitch. It's like the wrap longest up. outro ever. Fuck you. I had to get the shit out of the way, buddy. All right. Well, we got camera over on production, but don't All show right. him on the screen because we're just wasting fucking time. We're going to skip to me, DJ too. Rome, but now known as Rants over on... Oh, wait. You're on production. My bad. And, of course, me, the world's loudest human. Watch us every day live. One hour. Your video game show, Epileptic Gaming at epilepticgaming.com. I'm world's loudest human, DJ Wheat. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Peace. I've been I've been waiting like six weeks to do this. Voicemails! Get your voicemails! Incredibly loud voicemails here! Voicemail! Fucking voicemail!